Uh, oh, it goes back this way. There are traces of people staying here, too! Oh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. What does that mean? I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Well, that'd be the Fatui. Have we ever come across a Fatui who doesn't use visions? We haven't. They all have elements. Weird now that I think about it. Kanich told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. There are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. That's fine, but as long as we can track the faction that Aurora went with, it seems like Aurora found a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Aurora wanted to leave another distress signal but was caught by the Fatui. Sly looks pretty worried. Indeed, judging by the distress signal from before, Aurora was being held by the Fatui. So, given the difference in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. I think that's a terrible idea. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. So vague. Let's meet up again later. Where? And oh, when? Moron. What the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, oh, you little brat. And off she goes. Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Yep. Once Seat Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So the telepathy doesn't go both ways. So you were thinking the same thing. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. I don't think Lali noticed anything. I really think you need to tell her for the aforementioned reasons. But also, so when she tries this again with somebody else in the future, she's aware of the side effects. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell. And it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Or maybe everybody else was just like you and didn't have the balls to tell a woman that you're hearing her thoughts. Come on, guys, just tell her, please. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. Split up and investigate. Okay, my phlogiston path is going this way. I mean, it kind of went that way, but sure, if you want to tell me it goes this way. Am I just following the path? I even see some traces here. Let's follow them and see if we can find anything up ahead. I honestly thought my elemental vision would show me more, but it does not. I'm disappointed. We so rarely get to use it. What's over here? There are traces of phlogiston here, but... Did you find something? I found some traces of phlogiston, but the trail ends completely here. Huh. So we can't tell where Aurora might have gone from here. That's weird. The phlogiston trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those fatui with him. Paimon's right. This is all extremely strange. Also... So, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. Hello? Auroran? Huh? Whose voice was that just now? Oh my. Like screen of death? What are we doing here? V. 
very low load, very slow loading screen. And we're back in the Night Kingdom. We just can't stay away from this place. The Night Kingdom? How did I get here? I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. <laughs> yep. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. <sighs> Hello, Traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. What does this mean? Have you escaped the Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. Okay. Can someone else tell me that they're seeing this? Is this just my monitor? His eyes are jittering as it moves up and down. Right? You can see that? It's not just me? I've never noticed that in this game. Animations have always been smooth in this game. That looks weird. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. It's Il Capitano? Greetings, traveler from afar. Hi. Be careful with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to her. You've got a lot of tattoos. I like it. It was I who tasked Aurora on with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. But why is my question? What are you trying to gain here? We've been led to believe that you're trying to take uh, leadership over Natlan through force against Mavuika, hence the battle that they had at the stadium. But obviously you have no interest in leadership. What is your actual purpose here and what does it have to do with the Abyss and the Tsaritsa? I have so many questions. You better speak, man. So you're working together. What do you want? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. You can't just tell me here and now what you want to hear? No one can overhear us. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. I mean, unless you have a better alternative, her plans is all we've got, sir. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. I'm just gonna say it, I don't like Oren's eyes. They look so false and like, so like, stereotypical anime. I I'm not vibing with the eyes. You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please help me keep this a secret. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Let me guess. Open animation and Paimon looking into my eyes. Traveler, traveler! Oh, I thought you were dead. Hey, we didn't have the opening eyes animation. Wow, that's a miracle, but the rest is the same. Hey, what happened just yep. now? You suddenly collapsed and stopped responding. Well, I don't think I collapsed if I'm sitting delicately on a uh, little rock ledge. Uh, I'm fine. Was my soul forcibly removed from my body just now? That would explain why I couldn't hear Paimon at all. Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Oh, she's on the ground? Are you okay? I thought she was sitting on a rock. She's not, the rock's behind her. She froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! And could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? 
fine, just a little lightheaded. Ah, uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. If they were being truthful, then they must have reasonable motivations for what they did. But should I trust them? No. I could just share everything with Paimon and Sitlali now, but that'd mean giving up on the lead. I still haven't had much- How are you going to get rid of Paimon? I still haven't had much dealings with either the Fatui or the Masters of the Nightwind. I suppose I'll stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything else. It's for the best. If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. Sitlali should be able to, uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything True. from me, just say the word. Thanks, everyone. I'm feeling fine now. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. Did you pick up the trail for Aurorin? I know it's all a trap, blah, 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 but you got to keep up appearances. Even though the situation remains quite urgent, you take a longer break with Paimon and Sitlali. Aurorin's words to like on your mind. Meanwhile, Sitlali continues to keep her eyes on you and even performs another check. <sighs> Need to be more careful next time. Roger Feeling that, ma'am. yet, Traveler? I feel All right, let's just get ready. Beachy. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. We're like the wind and the clouds. Together. We either move as one or not at all. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. And miss out on seeing what your skill set is? Never. Okay, I mean, she went that way. But we're going this way. Wait, that makes literally no sense. She literally took a path this way. Yet somehow she found a fort on our path. Makes total sense, guys. Logic and reason. Who the fuck needs that? Apparently not me, Hoya. Don't attack me, don't attack me. I can't go any faster. been here before. Look over there. We've killed them once already. Huh? Paimon thinks she sees someone in the middle of the camp. That's Auroron. So he really was taken by the Fatui. So that's Auroron. He does look the same as when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier. All right, we'll take the lead. We? There's no we about us, Paimon. Except for your stature. Hmm. Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Kostelitsky. Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Does he always speak like that? I can get on board with this real easily. Huh? Uh, okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. <sighs> wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. <sighs> Are you ready? Let's go kick their butts on my count. Three, two, one! Pretty sure they would have heard your countdown. Still trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against. Change. Everyone help me. Yield. <sighs> Grant us your blessing. Here. Dance with the waves. That does more? Nobody said there were reinforcements. The I see everything. Make yourselves a Shouldn't have done that. It's not going to be in my cutscene. Flee. Looks like I. With all my strength. This dance is for you. Uh, shouldn't use that either, because now you're going to be in my cutscene too. Auroron! Should have thought ahead, but I didn't. God damn it. If I just pause here for a bit longer, should we wait for Nilu's to go away? <laughs> uh, Granny. Why do you sound like that? Um, Hyman 
know she's called Granny Eatsley, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. Agreed. And it's weird. Greetings to you too, other Granny. Excuse me? I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Let's be real. He's not wrong, but Granny? What did you just call her? Granny. Is that not right? You are Granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you're also a Granny. Is he just putting up a show, or is he really this intellectually impaired? How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorned vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. <laughs> it's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the masters of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. But visually you're the same age. And the traveler is visually a similar age to you. So why would you automatically assume that she was older than you? The way he talks has definitely changed, but it doesn't feel like he's putting on an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to help him keep things a secret, and even said it'd be for Sitlali's sake. So you treat everyone like they're your uncles and aunties. Exactly. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of bees prowling around, scammers looking for their <laughs> next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. <laughs> I love the list. It's perfect. And I love that it's just been beaten into him. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. She's dramatic. I love it. I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. So why did you do it? Because, because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Hey, I'm no ordinary Granny. Would they really dare to come after me? And you, did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? <laughs> You're... Vegetables? <laughs> yes, I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Ah, uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. 
If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> you should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? Right? <laughs> oh. Right. He's a bit scatterbrained. Go to the speaker's chamber. We can do that. You return to the city and Sitlali brings you to the speaker's chamber where you recount everything that has happened to Auroran. I see. So Auroran came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Sitlali's safety. That's the story we're going with. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroran was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to What's stay here? What's with the cowboy hat? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron! Please report back to the speaker's chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. <sighs> well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, <laughs> Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroran is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! I'll be counting on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. You can just go twiddle your thumbs or something <laughs> while you wait for the good news. Thanks, ma'am. Bye for now. Appreciate that. Uh, come with me, Auroran. We've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Goodbye, other granny. <laughs> <laughs> this new grandson of mine is way too polite. <laughs> A look on his face. He's probably trying to remind me about my promise. He doesn't strike me as a liar. Had I not seen everything for myself, I'd have never guessed that he could have done so much work behind Sit Lolly's back. What does he really want? I can't believe the missed opportunity to have the traveler actually speak this much. Gone and wasted. Oh, we're finally done. All right, it's time to find some grub. Grub? Please don't use that word. Paimon, there's something I need to tell you. Don't tell Paimon. We can go without Paimon. We do not need our mouthpiece. Huh? What is it, Traveler? You pull Paimon aside and tell her everything that you saw earlier when you collapsed. What? The captain? Keep your fucking voice down, child. Uh, sorry. Paimon just didn't see that coming. So you really saw him in the Night Kingdom? And he didn't attack you? Correct. Oh, that Aurora. What is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. I'm still not completely sure. We still need more information. Yeah, you're right. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support your choice no matter what, so if you want to go, we can go together. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Wait until 10 o'clock the next... Nope, that's 8 o'clock the next day. Okay, look, I forgot to hit record before I traveled here. So all I did was change the time of day, and then I walked to my destination, where I'm supposed to meet Otteron. That's all I've done, and this is the first line of dialogue. <laughs> I just realized because I have to start doing things in a weird order because my NVIDIA is fucked up at the moment... I didn't hit record. Here we are. Weird. Palmer doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let us be a trap. Ah, uh, on the fence about that one. <laughs> what was that? What do you mean, E? What is that? He's literally right in front of you as you say that. Do you have eyes, Paimon? Good evening. Nice to see you again. Hello. <sighs> it's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? Again, he was fully in your view. And I'm not quite sure what you were scared about. I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Coming up behind people as a force of habit or just being quiet? Could you be more specific? Ugh. And what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest.
this, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. We do. Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Well, I could. So what's the purpose of this meeting? Let's get straight to the point. Hmm. What are you looking for? Witnesses? It's all clear. Over to you. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. I'm only interested in the intel. I don't really care how the Fatui thinks of Yet, me. there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. I don't want to go to your side. I'm happy to understand your logic and reasoning, but I, I don't want to be by your side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Why? Because you'll be beaten? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. That's got nothing to do with us not wanting to clash. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I appreciate that you're trying to be all dramatic and doom and gloom, but I'd appreciate it if you just got to the point instead of trying to, like, foreshadow it. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natlan, she still needs two more heroes to appear. That's actually quite a bold assumption of you to make, that we're involved, or we have been informed of Mavuika's plan. Because until recently we hadn't been, and they don't know that there was a catalyst for this. So that's a really quite bold assumption. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. Well, I kind of feel like it is. Mavoika has kept this plan close to the chest. She's only told the direct people uh, in the plan. The four people who are her chosen, plus extras like, you know, Katina and us. Other than that, there are no extras that she's told. So who spilled? Who has betrayed her, for lack of a better term. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? I, I don't know. No one can know until it actually happens. But if you have a better plan, uh, I'm all for it. And if you do have a better plan, why have you not brought it to Mavuika? If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat will pay for her mistakes. I am aware of this. But again, if you have a better plan, why have you not brought it up with her? Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you. I'd probably say I don't care. Because... It's... How do I phrase this? It's not the main plan. We're not really involved as far as I can tell. And it's only, it's going to be something very desperate. And I can't judge somebody for getting very desperate when your country is literally about to implode. I mean, feel free to tell me, sir, but I, I don't really care that she's kept it from me. It's not like it's the main plan. An emergency plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. And that's the plan you would see come to fruition? Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. I mean, I'm assuming it has something to do with handing the notice over to the Fatui, but there's got to be more to it than that, because that doesn't help anybody. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost to the Abyss. I really hope you're going to tell me about the plan sometime soon, because you seem to be, again, prevaricating. Just get on with it. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. Well, that's just your speculation, because so far, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah! Do you have any evidence for all this? 
Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa plan? Wait, by seizing the Gnosis and making the decision for her, could he mean that the Gnosis has something to do with this backup plan? I knew you'd be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Well, I mean, part of you probably did. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. Why? This is the second time you've expressed a desire to protect Natlan. But what I don't understand is why. If you're Snezhnayan, what do you care for Natlan and its people? Why are you so particular about saving this country? You didn't give two shits about Fontaine when it was, you know, facing its crisis. In fact, your brethren, Ildadore, was... Nope, that's, that's Sumeru. Nope, never mind that part. But yeah, well actually, that's a good point. You didn't care about Sumeru when Ildadore was, you know, turning it to shit. Why Natlan? Why here and now? And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Again, you're going to need to tell me exactly what your plan is and what her plan is as well before I can pass any judgment either way, but I, I doubt it will work, whatever you're trying to plan, because it probably involves putting you in power. <clears throat> huh? Someone's here. Huh? The captain disappeared! Something is rapidly approaching. Oh no. Is it Something? Yeah. Bad news, chump! It's your granny! Oof. How'd she know about the meeting? Did she follow him? When did you get here? <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Uh. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Sit, Lolly, I kind of am pissed off about you being here right now. I'm trying to understand what's going on. I'm trying to understand what the captain's plan is. And then you come here and just have a little tantrum. Can you go away, have your tantrum somewhere else, so we can understand the actual seriousness of what's happening in front of us? Oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ugh, you! That's it! Where are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Uh, wait, Sitlali! Please, calm down. We, uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. Why did Paimon just say that? So Lali wasn't here for the conversation. She was only approaching while we were having the conversation and she wasn't close enough because, you know, the definition of approaching and approaching rapidly means that she was not in earshot at the time, even with magical senses. So she didn't know any of that. But now you've just told her all of that. Nice work, Paimon. So maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? This is no place to discipline a child. Um, he's not a child. He is quite clearly an adult. Ugh, listen well, Auroron. You're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over. You hear me? Uh, you're right, Traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? And if we're supposed to just magically believe that she somehow heard of heard the conversation from that far away, why the fuck did she interfere right then? Wouldn't you just lay and wait and listen to everything that's happened so you can find out the full plan? So that leads Credence to believe that she did not hear the plan, and so, you know, she didn't know when the timing was to interrupt. She just came to the meeting and interrupted it as soon as she could. But now it's all, oh, let's just go back to the city. Nah, bitch, go yourself. I'm here for a reason. I've just told you what the reason is. It's pretty freaking serious. Can I get the captain back so we can continue our conversation? I don't want to go back to the city. I've got shit to do. Our conversation with the captain was interrupted at the most crucial moment. <laughs> yeah, makes me pretty angry at Sitlali. I can't look at it favorably at the moment. But if Auroran's still here, maybe we can still end the rest from him. Yeah, buddy, speak up. If I can't get the captain back here, you're going to have to tell me the plan. Because right now, I'm going to hit 
said Lali. If you do not tell me the plan. Return to the stadium. Why? Why are we returning to the stadium? Ah, oh, sometimes this game is so poorly written. Can we just get the facts out? Can we stop going cute little interruptions and just tell me the fucking plan? <sighs> this is so stupid. 